All right, there's the music. Just six and a half hours away. Happening today, two rivals get set to face off for bragging rights in this state. Of course, we're talking about the Michigan and Michigan State game. Yeah, and we sent an unbiased U of M <laughs> grad to East Lansing to cover the game. 7 Action News reporter Kelly McDermott joins us now live from outside of the Spartan Stadium with more on how people are gearing up for the big game. Hey, Kelly. We've actually switched locations. We're right in the parking lot now at Spartan Stadium, and there's tailgaters that are setting up all around us. And these people know where it's at. And we actually came over here because we saw the fire, and we thought we could come over here and get warm. There's a propane tank. They've got a fire going, so they know what they're doing here. We want to show you some video from last year's big game. Of course, that's when Michigan won. Michigan's won 68 times in the past. Michigan State's won 32 times. They've tied five times. State's won four of the last five games, but again, Michigan did win last year. However, this year, Michigan State is favored to win this game by about four points. Now, both coaches of these teams recognize the importance of this rival rivalry, but they also realize who, who wins this game impacts the rest of the entire Big Ten season. Caper loses the foot. The passion for this football game by Spartans and Wolverines is uh, uh, something that you, as, as a coach or a competitor, you you understand that. It is an important football game when you look at uh, where we want to be and where they want to be at the end of November. they got a great football team. You know, this game means more than just uh, winning and losing in-state. It's, it's an opportunity to, to really sort of take control of the legends a little bit. It'll have a, a meaning in terms of bowl implications and those type of things. Now, you know, parking is always kind of a nightmare for game days, but it's going to be especially tough today, and that's because they've closed Munn Field, and that's a place where a lot of people plan to park probably because of the rain. They don't want the, the trucks and the tires to tear up the field, so they've closed Munn Field. We do have some other options for you, though, if you are planning to come down to the game today. We want to show you some of those. Um, you can park at the Michigan State Police Headquarters, the former Michigan State Police Headquarters. That's off Harrison, west of Breslin Arena. You can also go to the student lot 83, that's off Service Road east of Harrison. Student lot 91 is also available on Service Road west of Hagedorn. And there will be shuttle service there, but that is available for a fee. You could also park at the commuter lot at Farm Lane and Mount Hope. There's free parking there. You can buy a shuttle pass for $4. And the parking lots are open right now. And as we said, there's a lot of tailgaters here. They're getting ready, they're setting up. We want to talk to a couple of them right now. What's your name? Colleen Cook. And who are you? Jean Reeder. Shannon Esselink. Alex Esselink. Brian McDonald. Jack Kelly. Patrick Kelly. Okay, and these are all state fans, so I just want to know if you guys will all say who's going to win today. Michigan, Michigan State. State. All right, so there you go. We did talk to uh, a Michigan fan at nine, uh, a little while ago at 9 a.m., so just so you know, um, there are um, Michigan State fans here. There are Michigan fans here. Everybody seems to be getting along okay for now, but we're going to be out here all morning long. For now, reporting live in East Lansing, Kelly McDermott, 7 Action News. Go